It's certainly going to take a bit of beating, isn't it, from Kevin Bartlett. Well, the finals came a week early for Hawthorne and Geelong this afternoon as they lined up at VFL Park for the final preliminary showdown before the main event. The game was a vital one, especially for the Cats, as they had to win to make certain of their place in the five. From a Hawthorne angle, prestige was the main ingredient at stake, although the Glen Ferry boys still had a chance, albeit a very rough one, of stealing top spot if the Bombers crashed against North Melbourne. The Cats, although losing key players, Malarkey, Yates and Byrne through injury, were confident they could topple the reigning premiers as they'd beaten them last year at Princes Park and earlier this season at Cadinia Park. Tonight, our replay begins at the start of the game at league headquarters and with me in the commentary box is Lou Richards. 35,000 mark. The Cats must win. Hawthorne must win if they're to have any chance of getting top spot. Byrne and Mossop, won by Mossop, gets it on to Bolton, picked up by O'Keefe for Geelong. His kick back towards centre wing, Lester Smith getting underneath the ball, the ball bounding towards him, he picks it up right on the VFL emblem. A good long kick, and a mark taken out there by Curran at right half forward, Frank for Hawthorne. Curran decides to play on, he's gone for a pass, and he finds Langford unattended. Uh, a little bit closer to goal, but still basically at right half forward, Frank. Langford, named on the wing. And the side furnished to us by Tony Ferrugia, the Hawthorne manager, and I must compliment the Hawks for that too. Certainly, Pete. Michael Tuck named in the centre. Langford, long shot at goal. It's going pretty close. I think it's there. Oh, great shot. First blood of the Hawks at BFL Park. Well, Hawthorne, one goal, six points. And, of course, that goal coming uh, before the three-minute mark. A great goal by Langford. Got him up to a great start. That was a fine kick. Let's look at it again. He's a long way from goal. That's a good 55 metre kick for mine. Certainly is. You see Big Mossop uh, just failing to get a hand to it to touch it on the way through. Great start by Hawthorne. One and a half minutes gone, first quarter. Mossop and Byrne, the ruckman for their respective sides. Umpire Kevin Smith again putting the ball down. Mossop loses that one to Byrne. Picked up by Mossop, tried to go for a hand pass. Caught by Bruns, holding the ball was the decision. And the free kick going to Hawthorne's Russell Green at centre field. Green, one of the favourites for the Brownlow medal. Certainly amongst the media representatives anyway. At the right half forward again for Hawthorne. Loveridge, game number 50, gets it on to Matthews. He's played over 300. Robertson, loose at half forward. Trucks two tackles, beautifully done. Long shot by Robbo, going close. Is it close enough? I think it's there. It's a great snap shot. Two points, two goals to Hawthorne. And a great start for the Hawks. Two goals within two minutes of the start of play. Players rushing over there to congratulate Robertson. It was a hard goal to kick because he had to brush a couple of players up. What's uh, Matthews look for him? Does the other turn? Went the other way. Robertson gets clear. Uh, nearly collected that time by Bruns, but uh, fine goal. Well, we're back in the centre now. Robertson still rubbing that arm. He must have got one on the elbow or the top part of the arm. Tuck in the centre. Of course, he's been out for six weeks with a displaced retina. I don't know whether they're taking a chance. Bruns gets a high kick back towards centre-half forward. Mew couldn't hold that mark. This will be a ball up for sure. Round about the centre-half forward position uh, for Geelong. About 60 metres out from their goal. Right on the edge of the square. Fourth on off to a great start. Two goals and the Cats yet to score. Knocked out by Mossop. Back to Bruns. They collar him pretty quickly. Down goes DP at a minute ago and the umpire will ball it up again. Well, the Cats over the last three starts have beaten Hawthorne twice, but that's nothing because this is a pretty tough combination, Hawthorne. Knocked out by Mossop to Bruns, a hurried kick back there towards the forward pocket position. Coming out to meet it now is Jacko and Ayres. Jacko gets the front posse, picks it up, a snap and goal. It's going mighty close, but it won't reach the distance. But the umpire said it's out of bounds. 